This holiday season, we all wish for hope and healing. Children and families who spend their holidays at the hospital deserve a reason to believe in first steps, in giggles, high fives, and hugs. For 150 years, Children's National Hospital has provided world-class care and groundbreaking research. Please donate today to help patients and healthcare heroes this holiday season. Visit childrensnational.org slash holiday. That's childrensnational.org slash holiday. Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with Carrier. Products sold separately. That long day behind you, good times lie ahead. With company worth keeping, that'll bash a smile on your head. Come on in, the doors open, you'll find just the finest folks here. Pull up a chair, grab a drink, and lend our stories your ear. Cause we're the talk, talk, talk the tavern. Here you're always welcome. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. Promising beer and bed love. The talk. Music, medicine, then some The talk, 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 the tavern The song's over Here we come Welcome to the tavern We'll get to the topic and discussion in just a moment Just want to let everybody know This is an adult show with adult topics, adult humor And in other words, uh, we drink, we smoke, we swear And we laugh at things we probably shouldn't But we do it together For those listening to the podcast, we record the podcast on our live stream at twitch.tv slash Travis Tavern Talk and have a live interactive chat audience. You might hear the sound of the bell, and that means I want to interrupt somebody to read a question or comment. For those on the live stream, we won't read off everything you put in chat, but we'll try to get to the most relevant or the most amusing, but hopefully some combination of the both. Now, while we introduce ourselves, go ahead and let us know what your vices are tonight. Hey everybody, and I am Travis, and my vices tonight is a big fat stogie, and a really, what's that? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And a uh, nice finger of, sounds dirty already, uh, Mm -hmm. the Bowman Brothers. So this is a Virginia straight bourbon whiskey small batch. So not the top of the line, but their shit is good kind of across the board. Ed, you want to introduce yourself and pass it on when you're done? Then we'll do the What's up, people? I'm Ed. I am hanging here tonight with some uh, Basil Hayden, Kentucky bourbon. Can't really see that for the glare, but yeah, that's what it is. And I'm washing that down tonight with uh, some Appalachian ginger beer. I think it's from Pennsylvania. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And I had cheese, but I ate it all pre-show. <laughs> hey, Andrea? Okay, so I I am a big fan of Kraken Spice Rum. It's my favorite. Well, we saw this at the store, so I'd get it the Kraken Black Roast Coffee Rum. Gonna try that. And I also have some Ale of Ginger by Bullet. Now, Andrea, are you gonna mix that rum with something or just drink it straight? Go for it. Mm. I'm going to try it straight because I'll, I'm going to try it by itself because I don't know. I don't think I want to add like soda to it. I might want to add some coffee to it. I know what it would mix well with. A milkshake to make like a mud slide out of it. Ooh. Yeah, I can't do that during the show, but that's a possibility no. later. Yeah. Something to think about. Okay, and uh, Word says their vices tonight are strawberry banana yogurt. You put that in a blender, make a smoothie out of that. And uh, Crystal says hookah, gin, Red Bull, and some tavern talk nice. are her vices tonight. And uh, we need a dirty Timmy baby. <laughs> That's right. Um, and that those lips that she put up there. <laughs> that sounds dirty too. Um, they they look like from Rocky Horror Picture Show. But anyhow, we need a toast. We got to do a toast. Toast. Uh, here's I two. I sent you something. Sorry. Where? 
Thank you, Raven. Um, on your phone, because we're talking about Toast-it notes, I actually found Toast Post-it notes. Uh, okay, I'll check that out a little bit later. So let's do this before I get distracted by <laughs> yes. Toast-it notes. And um, Right. Considering tonight's topic is the sky is falling, a.k.a. Chicken Little Syndrome. Henny Penny. Henny Penny? That was Chicken Little. Mm-hmm. Henny Penny was Henny a Penny. friend of Chicken Little with Turkey Lurkey. No, Henny Penny was the chicken that got hit with the nut. I thought it was Chicken Little. Mm, chicken Little was a character from another book. Oh. Yeah, Penny. that's a movie. I just read it to my niece on vacation. That's, yeah, that's, that's why I'm not going to argue because I haven't <laughs> read it recently enough. Um, okay, so anyhow. God damn it. What did damn Chicken it. Little do then? Oh. I thought it Chicken Little. It was in that movie from Disney or something. It is yeah. with the men in black chicken, but anyhow. Okay. Here's to hopefully us being able to find these overreactive idiots entertaining and amusing and to them not being dangerous unless it's to themselves because genetics and Darwinism yummy it's almost has a sweet taste on the side of the tongue there and that's a I haven't had a drink yet today and that's the first drink of the day and it doesn't have any water and it's still very smooth very warming, though. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and see if Cogsley has any words of wisdom while we're doling out quotes here. There we go. This is always good, and it goes well with the topic. It's better to keep your mouth closed and let people think you are a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. Yeah. Credited to Mark Twain. A lot more people need to... Hold on, I'm going to watch you, Andrea. What do you think of that smell, Andrea? Oh, my God. This smells so good. It's the cracked and coffee stuff that she's talking about right now. For yeah. those. Oh, I thought she was talking about me. Ed looks so proud when you said that. <laughs> coffee rum. Uh-huh. This smells so nice. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. Now, keep in mind, Andrea doesn't drink a lot of hard liquor straight. I don't drink a lot of anything. That's true. <laughs> no, it's it's a little sweet for me. Mm-hmm. So I would need to put something in it to cut you that. You know what? So I'm thinking some black Espresso. Black mm-hmm. That might be okay in espresso because that was sweet in the espresso just a little bit. Yeah, because this is too sweet for me to drink plain, but it's, oh, it smells beautiful. It's not bad. It's got a good coffee. It tastes, you know those little Werther's coffee caramels? Uh huh. <gasps> it's what it tastes like. Add a little Bailey's to it, you'd probably be good to go. It's true. But. Yeah, yes, I, I highly recommend that. If you guys can find it and you are, you're a fan of Kraken, try it. Okay. Goblin, um, uh, according to the quote, says there was a punk band called AFI that had an about that had an album. Shut your mouth and open your eyes. Mm. I don't know. I think I think it needs a couple swear words in there. Shut your damn mouth. Open your fucking eyes. And that goes well with our topic tonight. So, Ed, you suggested this topic because this is Mm -hmm. something near and dear to your pimp hand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you want to kind of give us a concept or where it came from or just go into a rant right away? Whatever you need to do here. I I don't feel like, well, I'll ease ease into the rant tonight. I'm feeling (laughs) smooth tonight, yeah, it came about my YouTube channel, which I created my YouTube channel back when everybody was screaming that we were going to get a nuclear war with North Korea. And my concept was, the sky's not really falling, people. It's just a nut. <clears throat> That's the name of my YouTube channel. It's just a nut. Plus, I'm crazy as hell anyway. But anyway. Um, so, yeah, and 
while on vacation recently, which won't be too recent by the time this airs, um, we had the gas crisis. And everybody started acting like the fucking sky was falling. And I was wondering whether or not I was going to be able to get off this fucking island when my vacation was over because of the three gas stations on the island. They all had no gas. So that's our dirty little secret here. Just so everybody knows, if you're listening to this podcast, it's probably put up a little bit after we recorded it. So we're talking about the pipeline, the eastern pipeline that was hacked in May. And it shut down that pipeline for, I think, three days, two, three days. And, of course, that created some gas shortages, some price gouging. And by Friday, it was fixed, but you still kind of had to get the gas deliveries out there to refill all the tanks at the stations that were empty. And it was a weekend. So, you know, that took to like Tuesday of the next week. All in all, seven days affected. But... Like a stupid. It wouldn't have been as bad as it was had everybody not ordered gas. Yeah. But, you knew. then there's that one person. You all know this person that goes there and it's it completely out, no matter what it is. I had a gas tell people, whatever. Well, I would never hoard that. I would save enough for everybody. <laughs> well, I am so sorry everyone is not like you. <sighs> See, I usually fill up right around a half tank, one side or the other of a half tank, yeah. depending on my schedule. But generally, well, I never... That... Go ahead, Andrew. Go ahead. I'm just saying I don't get below a third of a tank, except in weird circumstances. So I never worry about it too well, much. And that's a good thing to have is just my, you know, make day-to-day decisions that, you know, hey, what if tomorrow this happens? So you you were prepared. You were fine for a few days. Right. Um, when it happened that morning, I was heading out of town to help a friend. So on the way out, I got gas. And then when I got to their place, then, you know, you sent me this message saying, fill up. And then I heard all over the news about this stuff. A couple hours later, driving home, every single gas station, there was probably 20 of them, out of gas. Out of gas. <laughs> In no time. Yeah, because people right. hoarded. They they didn't just bring like, oh, let me get my lawnmower thing and fill it up in case I need a few extra gallons. They're they're bringing everything, plastic bags and rubber made container. <laughs> Wouldn't uh. surprise me. Well, and I just I don't get it. And I had to work <laughs> the next day. I went to work and I'm like, <laughs> well, I have to stop and I have to get, I had to get something from the the convenience store. I don't know what it was. I forgot what it was. Milk or something. I'm like, let me see if they have gas. They had gas again. So basically, I just experienced one day. I just saw it as one day, even though a lot of other places were, what, seven days? Well, I'm saying the whole thing from beginning to the end was a seven-day arc. Yeah, a seven-day arc. We we saw a total run out for about two days, and... Um, they were telling us we were supposed to leave the island on Saturday, and they were telling us that they probably even wouldn't have gas on the island until Sunday. And I had like 40 miles of gas left in my phone. <laughs> huh. Let me read this comment here real quick. Wordwing clarifies the hackers didn't even shut down the pipeline. Right. They messed with the company's record, as in their billing stuff, and right. the company shut it down because the company couldn't bill for contents so yeah total media fueled panic (laughs) and uh goblin throws his two cents in here and says i was hoping to see more darwinism with the hoarders putting gas in plastic totes and trash bags i always like the always sunny in philadelphia episode yeah that and you know hmm? No, please go. That's a safety issue. And people are being Mm. stupid and they're causing a safety issue not only to them, but everyone around them. And doing that, that could blow up the whole station. Right. But, you know, if an employee 
if an employee went to them and said, hey, you can't do this, this isn't safe, who's to say that that person could, wouldn't pull out a gun and shoot that employee? So the employees, they won't say anything, which I don't know. So a lot of fingers <laughs> right now pointing towards the media, media capitalism, clickbait news. You know, it's, uh, yeah, media does feel this, no pun intended again, um, because mm -hmm. it sells it sells news. It, it sells papers. It sells ads. It sells whatever. Um, so let's spread out for more than just this one incident. We could even flip back a year, year and a half to where the toilet paper is gone. Or we could talk about every hurricane or snowstorm where all the toilet paper toilet is gone. Paper again. <laughs> Milk and bread. Milk, if you're bread, beer, toilet paper. Toilet paper. Beer and toilet paper, I understand, but if your power's gonna go out, why do you want to buy gallons of milk? Right. Right. Would you to, like butter to bathe in it to keep your skin soft? Well, see, because out here we don't have to worry about it. There's like so many cows. We need milk. We'll just walk over there. It's you're not fooling it's me again. The cow with the one tip. That's right. <laughs> you're not fooling me again. He liked it and all, but I'm not doing it again. <laughs> That's bull. <laughs> what a and Goblin says, you got to make French toast in trying times. <laughs> we don't do that. Andrea made French toast the other day. Then she showed me this incredible fucking meme. Somebody uh, put cheese in a skillet, threw down the like bread on it, poured the egg over it, flipped it over once it cooked a bit to cook the other side. Put like cheese and lettuce and tomato and some meat and then folded the egg over it and flipped itself up and made this sandwich all in one skillet. Okay. Go ahead. So if you've ever seen that little game on, on the little ad saying, oh, make the sandwich and you flip and flip and you have to flip everything a certain way to make this sandwich, that was the real life version of it. And it looked incredible. It was like a mm -hmm. ham, egg, and cheese sandwich when done. And it was beautiful. And I had to apologize for uh, jizzing all over Andrea's phone when she showed it to me. Yeah, it's, it was on Instagram. He's no longer allowed to use my phone. <laughs> use. I'm not even allowed to look at it, let alone use it. <laughs> um, Werdewin says they're still thinking 20 years ago when you could put milk outside and it'd stay cold. <laughs> not here. <laughs> You know, even in the winter, why would you buy a lot of milk for a snowstorm? If you're going to lose power, it's then going to freeze. Right. Um, well, you can get if you have if you live in an area with snow, which is not here, but when I lived up north, you get that, you get the milk, a little bit of sugar, and the snow, and you make snow cream. See, when I make snow cream, people let me they tell me I'm not allowed to use their phone anymore. Mm -hmm. It's uh okay. So, what other knee jerk panic reactions are super annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ed. Read that one out. Oh, uh, milk, milk, um, oh, milk won't freeze in areas without 5G. I read that on Facebook. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it also records every, everything you're saying and sends it to the United Nations Dairy Farmers. UNDA, yeah. which is under. Because we need to get rid of cows because they're creating too much gas. So do teenagers. <gasps> Nobody's getting rid of them. Do I hear a new movement? <laughs> Is it of the bowels? <laughs> Involving teenagers, usually. It's, uh... So what the fuck is it with people panicking every time something happens? Do, do you guys not have enough stuff in your cabinets and or refrigerator and freezer to last you three to five days because really in the modern world you're not unless you live in the middle of nowhere like literally in the middle of nowhere like you don't have roads you're not getting snowed right. in for more than 
a week. Yeah, more than a week. But but. the people that live off the grid or off the roads or where they, they're already prepared because they fucking live there. Right. You're damn right we are. That's right. See? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you got four wheel drives, you got plows, you got snowmobiles, or yeah, these people they know what they're doing. Like people who yeah, live in hurricane zones know what they're. Hold on, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> people who live in hurricane zones have no fucking clue what they're doing. <laughs> they're just like, uh, I don't want to go anywhere. Shit, we're all dying. Let's leave now. <laughs> And by the way, Wordwin oh. says, every time wireless tech changes, people go nuts, which started with cell phone companies trying to devalue wireless internet so they could scroll out the congressional order to provide free internet to rural areas. Hmm. Hmm. I just like the word squirrel. <laughs> so, um,. So yeah. do you think it's the mentality of people like, I have to have all this, so people have to come to me and I can provide or I can set the price because they're assholes? Do you think it's like a power thing? No. I think there I think was... Think about it. What, Ed? There was some of that last year with the toilet paper thing. I know people bought toilet paper, bulk, 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 and tried to sell on eBay and Amazon and so forth, and they just wouldn't allow them to do it. So there was some of that, but I think, I, I don't know what the rest of it is. It's not a power thing. What are you going to do with gasoline in a trash bag? It's- I know what it is. This is our natural squirrel brain. When we're going into our human nature is to store things for hard times. And since we don't tend to store a whole lot because we're used to just going out and getting things every day, when it does happen, our natural instincts to hoard kicks in. Now, the thing is, if I go to the grocery store, completely empty cabinets, and I spend $100, I probably have more than enough to eat for three to five days. Mm -hmm. Unless if I'm just buying like a dumbass. Um, Yeah. So, uh, if you have any kind of backstock in your kitchen, going out and picking up a few things is one thing. Yeah. It's well. We don't have to worry if you want a steak. There's cows down the road. They also have milk. The neighbors have chickens. We're good. And you got cats, so yeah, you're good. <laughs> and rice. Yeah, I, them. I know what they do. <laughs> um. I'm sorry to hear that. Crystal has announced that her internet is dookie poops right now. So glad she moderated her own language here in the tavern. <laughs> That's a funny word. <laughs> because I have done right night shows with her. She is a sweary motherfucker. <laughs> 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 So, uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, Crystal, just so you know, the fourth episode, the unplanned episode that we did about erotica, that will actually come out as Right Night episode 69. So there we go. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It could be your speakers instead of the sound of our voices here. Yeah, I've heard what I sound like. It's not what I sound like in my head. Very weird. It is, Raven. It actually originally hits... It was going to be episode 64, and I'm like... I talked to Andrea, and she encouraged it. I'm like, we're putting that on episode 69, which means I have to go record four more episodes to put between to cover that fillet. Yeah. I know there's a scientific reason, Goblin, why I don't sound how I hear in my head. I know that. In my head, I'm a great singer. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> and I'm in her not. shower, in her car, she's a great singer. <laughs> other people, as long as there's no one around, I'm great. Apparently, other people create really bad acoustics when she sings. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it's their fault, not what yours. Cats. 
cats or small children? Because they don't give a fuck. Well, maybe they do, but they can't get away. I don't understand what that means. They're a word of win. The ID lies. No, we're old enough. We don't have to get the ID that lies anymore. Oh, the id. Id, right. Gotcha. I like my little four-legged furry megalomaniacs. Thank you, Goblin. The two-legged mm-hmm. ones. They can, uh... Mm-hmm. They can absorb a lot of sound. Well, they mm-hmm. generate a lot of sound. <laughs> So when it comes to this knee-jerk reaction of the sky is falling, and by the way, this happens large and small. We've mentioned natural disasters or whatever, or sudden spikes in events. It happens on small cases, too. Like when somebody's reaching for the last item on a shelf at Walmart and somebody else wants it. I have seen people freak the fuck out out and create a scene yeah go ahead andrea christmas in the 80s transformers you know what small kids getting into the elevator who gets to push the button (laughs) it's the same thing yeah it's and i was always that kid that would be like i'm betting i'm gonna be in another elevator you can press the button this time. I'll be all right. <laughs> but it could be the last time the elevator may crash. And, yeah, it could be the last. It could be, especially Teddy if it Ruxpin. plummets. Teddy Ruxpin, yeah. So. This holiday season, we all wish for hope and healing. Children and families who spend their holidays at the hospital deserve a reason to believe in first steps, in giggles, high fives, and hugs. For 150 years, Children's National Hospital has provided world-class care and groundbreaking research. Please donate today to help patients and healthcare heroes this holiday season. Visit childrensnational.org slash holiday. That's childrensnational.org slash holiday. Yes. My little cousin got one because they had enough money to get that. And I think she was the only child at the time. But I had like my metal cassette tapes and I would have Teddy Ruxpin singing the metal. God, I want one now. We can get one. But we don't have any tapes anymore. Can we get one that takes MP3s? I have a few cassette tapes. Who's got some money to invest that we can redo this and make a build a bear thing that you just put a skin over the framework? That's right. Mm. <laughs> of an MP3 player thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, when you go to build a bear, there's all empty skins and bins anyway. It's a little morbid. It is. Yeah. I mean, that's horrible. Yeah. Um,. <laughs> It's like the child's version of Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> kind of. Yep. And uh, Goblin says, I want to get a Teddy Ruxpin and put in Master of Puppets. Word of Wind says, I grew up poor. I never saw one except on TV. Yeah, it's. Uh, it, it, we were kind of in that same boat too, Word of Wind. And... Mm-hmm. Well, that's a great idea. Okay, see, Goblin has advanced on the idea I put forward. Have to find a text. Teddy Ruck's been a hack it now. Put it into my smart home so it can say evil things when you walk by. Imagine, <laughs> like, hooking, you know, these, like, doorbells with the camera and the voice speakers and shit? Put that inside of a Teddy Ruxpin. So, yeah, you could play songs and it does it, but you could also just put your voice through it and just be like, leave the fucking box on the porch, UPS. <laughs> Mm -hmm. that's great okay so we're getting one (laughs) (laughs) if only we had the money to start our own company that's right scare the shit out of the Amazon guy fucking Amazon guys though though apparently they're pretty nice compared to the FedEx and UPS guys from the videos I've seen (laughs) yeah yeah on Instagram (laughs) keep the change you filthy animal get your damn dirty paws off my box 
Uh, Use raspberry pie with some memory. What? I'm scared. Are you saying we need like raspberry jam that talks? They gave you the raspberry. <laughs> I'm surrounded by assholes. You have... If you don't know what that's from, I can't talk to you. Spaceballs, yeah. We saw a license plate frame the other day that says, We break for nobody, Spaceballs. <laughs> gotcha, I'm getting some education <laughs> and then being called a Luddite. Apparently, Raspberry Pi is a teeny computer, and Goblin has three running in uh, his network right now. One runs the smart home, the other one runs my ad blocker, and the last is for fun, which translates to it is waterproof and lube proof. And it's able for to be porn. It's for porn. It's, mm -hmm. uh, either that was his Teddy Ruxpin got an extra hole and a little extra padding. There we go. See? Goblin just popped in with I fuck it every night. Because that teeny computer no. looks huge on his knob. It's a raspberry oh, wait, pie no. instead of an apple pie? I flipped it. His knob looks huge on that teeny computer. That's what I meant. Never mind. Let's move on. This is why Travis shouldn't do stand-up. No, no, no. <laughs> wow. That's just crazy. So... Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, we've seen stuff like this, and it's not just because of prices that people become that way. No, it's it, it's a sudden need for something they can't have. Yeah, it's the that, life very business. Yeah, the kid doesn't want McDonald's till you say the kid can't have McDonald's. or Right. See, the thing that gets me is like with growing up in the 80s and stuff and seeing the people being violent to get these toys for their kids it's like kid really doesn't need that dog well like it's with, a great great life lesson for your kids right if you yeah. punch somebody you can have the best toy well that's it <laughs> but like even now when the consoles come out the playstation the xbox and it's still happening, and there's no crisis. There's nothing. It's not life or death that they have to have it. Okay, but okay, okay. I don't understand. The video game systems, okay, they're kind of cool, and you know there's going to be more out. You might just have to wait three mm -hmm. months to play your game, get some right. fucking patience. But what the hell was up with Furbies and Cabbage Patch Kids? Because those things were either creepy in one case and just but ugly in the other case mm -hmm. and i don't think the kids really cared about getting one till the parents told them that you can't have one and that the kids mm. should be upset and the kids are like wait i want one of these marlene well, the, i think the, mm -hmm. the okay. thing is parents the media and advertising are like you're not a good parent unless you get this for your kid you're shit unless you spend all this money and put yourself in debt for this one day. And I don't understand. Crystal is backing you up on that. Think it was a status thing. By the way, hello Marlene. Yeah. Good to see you. Welcome to Talk of the Tavern. Um, but Marlene says, just had to make some cookie dough hearing of all the flour and milk, etc. <laughs> stockpiling. Now you can sit there and eat your cookie dough and be entertained and well fed while people stockpile their dumb ass shit. Yeah. yeah. You can have cookies and beer. Ugh. Yes. Is there really any cookies that go well with beer? Uh, none that I've had so far. Yeah. I've tried. Then again, Snickerdoodle. there might be some beers that go well with cookies. Like some of those really sweet beers that you're like, this ain't beer. Maybe. Never had any. It's I've had some. Snickerdoodles go good with scotch, though. Do they? Oh, yeah. You, you got to dunk them. <laughs> In okay. Scotch. Irish mm -hmm. shortbread. Okay. Werdwin says Cabbage oh. Patch ads were on point. I thought they were ugly and stupid, and even I wanted one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought they were great with their birth certificate and everything. Um, so, 
we were speaking of cookies. Yeah. Because, you know, working where they have a, you know, at a grocery store, a Lady Gaga cookie. Oreos. They're like pink and green Oreos. People went crazy about them and were upset when the, we sold out. And the M&Ms, like the Key Lime M&Ms. Yeah. That people didn't get really crappy about those. But for these lady guys, I mean, I would like to try them, but looking at those Oreos, I don't think I could. Hold on, I gotta show this to Goblin right here. There you go, Goblin. There's Trekkie Travis Garbage Pail Kid. How about that? Oh, God, I love Garbage Pail Kids. It's, uh, Crystal says, I like dark breakfast stout. Kicks like a porter, tastes like coffee is 7%. Have it with mini donuts. Okay. Okay. You want a good coffee thing? Right here. Kraken Black Roast Coffee Rum. It's really good. And if your rum black roast isn't your type of thing, there's always Ed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he does yeah. well with the rum. And I go well with cookies, too. That's right. Yeah, and he does. Full body, <laughs> full flavor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, that's right. Um, and if you just like to see cookies be eaten, Ed will eat your cookie. I will eat your cookie. Like Cookie I'll Monster. Give you a cream filled ho ho in exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they like it when you call them a ho ho when you're cream filling them. Mm -hmm. I felt like I explained that one too much now. I should back off that one. Um, oh, man, there was something here we were going to. A beer with pretzels, yeah, but soft pretzels. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Google is your friend. Or, uh, remember Goblin, well, to say Google in German, it's Google. From what I hear. Yeah, I remember Garbage Pail Kids, and they were they were fun, they were interesting. I, I have a few of them. There have been yeah. some that have been removed now. Oh, really? Yeah, they're really? offensive now. They're they're, and actually, they're a recent one, so it's almost fair. Like you should have known better because the world is doing what the world's doing. Well, the thing is, they were all supposed to be horrible and offensive and gross. That it's was true. the appeal of them. Uh, that is correct, Goblin. I'll let you go look it up. Mint cocoa sounds good. After mm. eights for mint lovers, we have just. Oh, wait a minute. Where do I sit? Remind me. I need to grind up. Oh, wait. There's more. I uh, need to grind up some mint to make mint cocoa. Okay. That's where the mint cocoa thing came from. Mm. It's a, That's something I'm not growing yet in the garden is mint. You know, you got to be careful because it might attract cats. That's only catnip. That's a type of mint. A lot of mint will attract different cats. As opposed to the same if, cats over and over. What, Ed? If you grow mint in your garden, it's going to be everywhere except your garden. <laughs> okay. It takes off. It just spreads and spreads and spreads. Hello, Snoochie. Welcome to the tavern. Good to have you here. Been a little bit. Or did you yeah. change your name? I don't know. It's a... Uh... <laughs> The cocoa. Grow I grow the mint. mint. Okay. okay. <laughs> Do you grow your mint in pots or in a garden? Asking for a friend. Okay. Th this where we go. Um, <laughs> this is an interesting conversation. Okay. Snoochie says, mm -hmm. I recommend planting mint in a planter mm -hmm. and water it off your AC condensate line. Um hmm. And Wordowin says, I'm planting mint to help kill off poison ivy. So does it kill off poison ivy? Mm -hmm. Because we actually have a patch of poison ivy that's near where the blackberries are. And, okay. I have to make a note of that and do some research and see what I can do. Can we just run by with like a basket of mint seeds, skipping along and tossing it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have that many, but I do have some mint. It's more aggressive, chokes it out. Okay. 
Okay. I've had friends like that too. Oh, indeed. <laughs> cool. Maybe it also attracts the Easter Bunny. I don't know. I'll put some behind my ears next we April. We have a bunny. We do. We have a bunny. I don't know if it's Easter, but it's the bunny. It's so cute and fluffy. Yeah, I've seen bunnies in our in front yard and backyard. What, Ed? It's great if you like mojitos. Bunnies? They go good with mojitos? Matt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I like the taste of mojitos, but I don't like the floaty stuff in it. That is gross. <laughs> it's like you should put it in one of the uh, tea strainer things. Yeah. Maybe do something. Uh, hmm. See, where to win is backing me up on the mint and cat thing. So mint around the house also helps repel mice. Extra bonus if it attracts cats. Well, our cats repel the mice. So actually, they they're like, "Come here, mice!" And then they want to carry it around the house in their little mouth. Mm -hmm. They're mighty hunters. Daisy grubber. Okay, so Snoochie says. For poison ivy, I'd recommend a daisy grubber and pull it up from four to six inches deep. What is a daisy well, grubber? Is that a type of plant or is that like a garden tool? Because when you say pull it up from four to six inches, we just want something to put down. Like we don't want to create extra work Ouch. later. Huh? Well, here's the thing. Some of the ivy is growing up the trees and the little foliage out there. So it's everywhere ah it is the two-prong garden tool the claw Whee. oh wait no this is the long thin one with like that little v-shaped thing at the bottom mm. <laughs> goblin says daisy yeah, grubber sounds like something i'd ask for in that thai massage parlor mm -hmm. you know what i usually like ask for what what andrea so it sounds like something you may have asked for. Mm -hmm. You know what I usually ask for in the Thai massage parlor? For the police mm -hmm. to leave till I'm done. <laughs> mm. Um, sorry to hear it, we're mm. Allergies suck. I don't know if I'm allergic, and I'm not going to find out. So let's see know. here. With knee-jerk panic reactions, why is it people can't take five minutes, especially with how information is so close by, when you see something that makes you go, really? Or, oh my God, either reaction. Mm -hmm. Instead of immediately jumping back onto social media or running to the people at work, like I had somebody at work talk about that Coke ad campaign... Mm -hmm. that says stop being so white or whatever it was and i went wait what, what? and they're like yeah it's a real coke ad campaign five minutes later i had read three different articles and went mm, nope this Maybe. was an internet rumor and then mm -hmm. when i went and showed them the proof they're like yeah well coke was just telling their employees this in the factories and i'm like What, to not be white? I don't, I, I don't know. Okay. That's true. Marlene says... Now, wait a minute. Yeah? Is it the Coca-Cola factory or the cocaine factory? we got to get marijuana legalized before we can start up on the cocaine factories. I didn't say they were legal, but maybe they were telling them don't be so... I don't know. It could be. <laughs> that means stop, like, dusting yourself with cocaine because... You look really pale when you do that, and your eyes are huge. <laughs> Bloodshot. Um, but Mar you work so much faster. That's, that's true. Marlene says, uh, that's what makes all the phone scams work, etc. And nobody even takes 30 seconds to think. Yeah. Uh, there <laughs> phone scams, text message scams, and email scams now. So, Goblin says, that's as bad as I totally have a girlfriend. She goes to another school. You wouldn't know her. Being Does your wife know? Yeah. <laughs> and being a 50-year-old, 
it's probably best if I don't tell everybody I have a girlfriend that's still in school. Yeah, it's frowned on. <laughs> it's a... What? She's a teacher. <laughs> I thought she was the janitor. At least she taught me something. The lunch lady. <laughs> the lunch lady. Oh, so I get Salisbury steak and laid. Sweet. Hell yeah. My girlfriend's the lunch lady at a school you don't know. <laughs> That's right. I love how everybody is just like <laughs> helping me out here. She could be getting her GAD, GED or PhD. Somebody else is like, or she could be a teacher. Marlene's like, I know better. <laughs> <laughs> French fry burgers. Kind of miss them. Yes, yeah, Snoochie. Not that school food was great by any means, but some of it wasn't bad. But you miss it sometimes. And then you're like, oh, why did I miss it? It's true. It's true. Though it's, it's a lot different now than it was 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, you want to read that one out loud, Andrea? Go no. ahead. Read that out loud. Oh, God. Okay, that's funny. So Goblin says something about that, that smooth lunch lady stash. So soft on the donger. God damn. And by the way, that's stash as in the short version of mustache, not stash as in the drug stash. Don't be hating. Well, we don't know. But with the spelling we Don't do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just not having what to think, what to make. Those are the times. Option A or B. Pick and fed. Yeah. That was nice. <laughs> well, Marlene, considering we're recording this for a podcast also, I feel stuff like that, that have the visual reference, probably need clarified on occasion. So there we go. But I, I would like to think our audience is smart and they can figure it out. Could be wrong. <laughs> They're watching us. Are you kidding? <laughs> Strike that one. That wasn't meant for you guys, though. So That's right. You the guys are the smart ones, right? <laughs> 14 years ago, we used to mess with the lunch ladies, janitors, by super gluing quarters to the floor. Never did, but friends would. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Kids are assholes. You want to really mess with them? Super glue a quarter bag to the floor. Do they make quarter bags? I know you got nickel bags and dime bags. Are there? There's quarter bags out there, right? They're called Ziploc baggies, right? Sandwich bags. I'll tell you how, how, but yeah, there's quarter bags. <laughs> what, Andrew? And Do you hide it in the water bottle. The <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Goblin sticking up for the janitor. Good man. Werdewin says a friend's daughter is going to school where the meals are made by college students in a restaurant program. Ten food tends to be amazing. See mm. look at <laughs> so Snoochie says the worst I used to do is hack into teacher files and then sell test answers to friends. See, back in my day, when you hacked into the teacher files, it means you went through the really deep drawer on their desk when they were out of the room. Yeah. Yeah, because they didn't have computers like now. Except for the computer teacher. That's true. <laughs> Dumbass stuff. Okay, what else we got for the... Uh, the sky has fallen. It's just a nut. Hmm? Ed, you said you were going to do a slow build up to a rant. You better get on nah, that. We're running I'm out of good. time. He <laughs> <laughs> changed his mind. All right. Marlene says another 10 years later, and you eventually learn those are the people who decide if you get hired. Green Goblin, thank you for gifting that sub over to Marlene. Appreciate that. Thank okay. you, Marlene. The Green Goblin go. has gifted a sub to Marlene Serene. How awesome is that? 
Nice. It's real fucking awesome. It is. Indeed. Sub hug. Aw. Flopsy. Flopsy 132 is now following. Cool. Thank you, Flopsy. We'll drink to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that works. That works. Another 12 month or. Oh, was it? Yeah. Hmm. 12 months of tier one. Yeah. To Marlene. Wow. Nice. That is incredible. Yeah, Marlene. You get to suffer through a year. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> mm. Nice. Okay, let's get some closing thoughts on this topic and wrap this up. Andrew, you got some closing thoughts on this? Just be prepared. Don't be that person. Don't hoard everything. Can't we all just take care of each other? Ed? Oh, people just chill the fuck out. Sky ain't falling. China and communism isn't taking over America. We're going to be okay for another five years at least. So, uh, Get back, relax, enjoy the show. There we go. It's, uh, and my thoughts are, uh, mm, calm the fuck down, dumbasses, and do some research. Jesus. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get the outro here, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Talk of the Tavern. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get the outro. Before we go, I want to remind everyone that you can email us at talkofthetavernshow at gmail.com to let us know your thoughts on the show's topic, suggest another topic that you'd like to hear us discuss, or just have us read a message out on air to someone in your life. Thanks for supporting the show by downloading the podcast, sharing it on social media, grabbing some shirt stickers and mugs from bit.ly slash tavern merch, or barware patches and hats from bit.ly slash tavern merch too. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash tavern merch or tavern merch and the number two. Thanks to everyone who joined Find us live at twitch.tv slash Travis Tavern Talk and everyone who supports the tavern by subscribing, hosting, throwing bits, raids, and most of all, commenting. Thanks for joining us in the discussion shenanigans tonight. You are the one thing that makes the show what it is. Don't forget to join us at the tavern next week. Until then, have fun, keep learning, and be good to one another. Now, raise your glass in good cheer. Enjoy the small moments every day and steamy dreams every night. holiday season, we all wish for hope and healing. Children and families who spend their holidays at the hospital deserve a reason to believe in first steps, in giggles, high fives, and hugs. For 150 years, Children's National Hospital has provided world-class care and groundbreaking research. Please donate today to help patients and healthcare heroes this holiday season. Visit childrensnational.org slash holiday. That's childrensnational.org slash holiday. Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with carrier. Products sold separately.